welcome now today i want to talk about your spinning reel for those guys that's new into grinder fishing there's a function on your grinder that's called the auto bail trip now what that is is then when you cast and your bail is open you don't have to manually close your bail you can cast and then just reel and the bail will close now for a lot of rock and surf anglers that's an issue because when you cast sometimes the bail closes and you end up snapping your line when uh, you're casting so i want to show you just how that works and how to remove that function now i want to put you in a typical scenario there's a lot of fish biting you're kind of late you got that fish fever you just put on a nice bait for your kholyun and you're running to your spot to turn your bait guys the bail closed and I snapped my line so normally what happens is especially with the slammer the slammer is quite a heavy reel it's got a heavy handle and it's really smooth so sometimes when the bail is open and uh, your handle is on top with the momentum of you swinging going into the cast the reel starts to go and the bail closes and by that time it's closed and you snap your line the other thing is when there's a line wrap around the tip of your rod and the other thing is when you close your bionic finger too late it's also going to snap but today i want to try and sort out the issue of the auto bail clip so let's go home and let me show you okay so i'm back here at my tackle then and i would just like to use this opportunity to thank you guys for the subscriptions the likes the comments and uh, for those guys who haven't subscribed yet please subscribe there's a lot more videos coming and this channel has only started so today we're going to talk about the spinning reel and the auto bail clip now as some of you guys know i love pen and especially the pen slammer i'm not saying it's the best reel out there it's just a reel for me i'm happy with it and i'm not sponsored by any way but uh, this is the reel I choose. I'm just a loyal fan and I love it. Okay, so Berkeley has just joined the party. Now, I wasn't going to post this video. I had it in mind, but uh, I decided not to do it. And then this weekend, I fished with my friend and his friend bought a pen slammer and uh, he heard about this issue and he wanted to sell his reel. And I told him, no, wait, I know how to remove this function. Now to get to the auto bail clip, these ones are exactly the same. It's the Pen Slammer 3 5500. This one has got the auto bail trip and this one I already removed. Snapping your line on the cast is not nice. You lose a lot of tackle and you can also snap the tip of your rod. Now you're left with that FG knot while the fish are biting. Nowadays, tackle is so expensive. The hooks from the Fusions, the Kamogatsus, Master, Daiichi, everything comes with a price. Not to mention the guys throwing lures and artificial baits. Now, this issue only comes with the 3500, 4500 and 5500. From the 6500 to the 10500, this function is not installed as it's not likely to be used as a spinning reel. 
this is also not the only reel on the market with the auto belt chip as there's a lot of other reels and brands with it and after all it's called a spinning reel now for the guys who are spinning they putting in sessions of four five six hours doing hundreds of costs and it's not nice to do this over and over again so they actually like this function where you cast and it's just real it saves a lot of time and effort now let me show you how to remove the auto belt chip now you start off by loosening your drag and pulling off your spool and guys what i do i like to put everything um, in order as i remove it everything after each other so that i know which part comes next and just makes it easier for yourself the other thing i want to encourage you to do is rather um, ask the local tackle shop or the, your tackle guy to do this if you don't want to fiddle with your own reel sometimes it is a bit of uh, confusion opening these reels so it's maybe better to just ask them to remove this uh, function for you so now we will be removing the body rotor plate by removing these three screws Now you want to remove this body rotor nut. Just gently turn it and clockwise. Carefully. So now we're going to remove this head here. guys if you can see it this spot here is called the body slope so all it is is that one little screw so let's remove it so there it is guys the body slope and that is what caused the water melt chip so we're going to remove this take this little screw and just put that screw back so now we can start to put our reel back together the light tighten up not too much okay body rotor plate back There you have it guys, the water belt chip is removed, easy as that. Okay, thanks for watching, uh, I really hope this helps someone and guys if you want to see more please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when there's new uploads and I'll see you again next time.